The search continues for more medically trained volunteers that can help health care providers administer the COVID vaccines. Dozens of San Diego dentists have signed up to be a part of this solution. ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala goes in depth to explain the process and what's slowing down some plans to vaccinate more people. Really excited to be able to give a vaccine because it's easy um, and they need people. In January, the Department of Consumer Affairs approved a public health emergency waiver allowing California dentists to administer the COVID-19 vaccine as long as they completed several training and safety courses required by the CDC, a move the California Dental Association applauds. We give injections in far more dangerous areas with blood vessels and nerves and moving tongues. Here in San Diego County, about 60 dentists have completed the training and signed up to give vaccines in the community so far. Dr. Lindsay Pfeffer, an orthodontist, is one of them. She owns a practice in the Carmel Valley Del Sur area. You have to go through courses about each vaccine, about administering the vaccine, reactions, if anyone's gonna have a reaction, but you have to take a test and answer the questions right. While supply of the vaccine is limited and and proper storage is an issue. Dr. Pfeffer can't offer to give the shots at her office right now, but she has volunteered at the Sharp Chula Vista Vaccination Superstation. I had people crying, um, patients crying on Friday and praying and, and so excited. I mean, they were just like pulling their shirts down before I could <laughs> even ask them the questions. It's really gratifying for me to just kind of help them. Over in Escondido, Dr. Samin Eftakari has also passed the approval process to give the vaccines. I immediately signed up for it. He's hoping to take it a step further and administer the shots at his practice 760 Smiles. For weeks now, every Monday, 760 Smiles say they've been putting in an online request through the state to receive vaccines that would then be distributed by the county. We have the deep freezers and we have refrigerator. There is a very specific uh, guidance of how we can store these, uh, these vaccines. We started by telling patients uh, a while ago, as soon as I applied for the position, I just started bragging about it because I'm excited to get it going. They even set up an appointment system through their website. But the only problem is they haven't been able to get their hands on any doses just yet. A county spokesperson tells me as the county is still in charge of distributing the vaccines locally, they hope to one day be able to give the smaller practices doses when there's a steady stream available. Right now, it's still a waiting game. If and when 760 Smiles receives the vaccines, the goal is to set up outside of the practice and open appointments to the public. It feels nice to be part of the solution um, and the first opportunity to be able to assist. I, I took it. The more people do it, the better. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. The California Dental Association is also pushing for a law that would allow dentists to give vaccines beyond the pandemic, including flu shots. Other states already have similar laws in place.